Yes, welcome to our new 2020 <laughs> preview show. By the way, have you heard who the headline sponsor is? Yeah. Drum roll, please. Grosvenor Sport. Yes. Super. What? Another big name on open goal. Massive. The biggest case in the world, isn't it? I think so, huh? I would I, say so. You've had a few good nights in there, the one down at the riverboat. I've got 100% record at the casinos. What, what? Taking a bird team every time after. <laughs> 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 oh, you've got That's a special so offer as well. Make sure you bet with Grosvenor Sport for the Euros. <laughs> Scotland to qualify has been boosted from evens to five to one. Wow. So have you put 50 quid on it, Paul? How much do you get back? 500 pound. <laughs> Thick as fuck, honestly. Is it not? Um, 300. That's including your 50 back. Yeah, good Scotland's care. qualifying all day long for that group. Mickey Mouse group, as I call it. So we've just been informed Scotland only to win one game. Where did you see them winning that? What game would it be? England, didn't it? Wembley, yeah, Easy. Easy, Easy peasy. Is that the easiest game Scotland's got in the group? Scotland are one of the favourites, obviously, in the tournament. So when they play Croatia and Czech, the pressure's on Scotland. V England, they maybe know. So sit in, England will crumble, and then Scotland take it. Do you know what I mean? Uh, it's only two days away. How excited ki things kicking off right there. Look at that. I feel a bit nervous now, by the way. What about the shows? No, the special guest coming on. Oh, do you, aye? He's eyeballing us, isn't he? But before we get the special guest on, we do need to say um, commiserations to his Swansea side that got beaten the, in the final. <laughs> Mate, that's one of the worst you've done by me. <laughs> People are sending me his picture every fucking show. He has your double No, he's not. That's <laughs> a <laughs> uh, Right, Scotland v England. Now, we're balanced with Scotland balanced, so we need to get somebody else on for an English perspective. A guy that's gave Scotland a bit. Controversial guy. Very horny, controversial guy, isn't he? He's very horny. he's horny? Oh, he's oh, a he's horny, horny guy. I can see he's stunning earlier than now. <laughs> Here he bones. comes. The it's one a man only. who slaughters Scottish football. A few times. So here he comes, Jamie O'Hara. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening, young man? How, How are, are you? we, lads? Are you good? good I'm alright, I'm alright. How you're are looking, we? You're looking great. Well, yeah. Not as good as me, but you're looking I'm, great. Well, I was looking at them new balanced trainers thinking them. <laughs> Maybe Eddie Nassar Knight ain't got up here yet. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it was Who's Bobber's worst? Mine's on Brazil. Uh, Mine are on Brazil. Oh, it's tight. It's tight. <laughs> What's I mean, tight he wears Gant, you wear new balance. <laughs> it was nice though, Jimmy, that you apologised for your comments, wasn't it, before the um, show started, on your comments from Scotland? Well... The Scottish game. It was nice you apologised, wasn't it? Well, I, yeah. I, kinda, nice I, I felt like I had to because I was coming up here with three you know, Scottish lads. you got a great podcast. I thought, I'm going to have to apologise early and then when we're live... I'll oh, obviously change your mind again. Change, uh, tell you how I really feel about the Farmers League. Wow. Paul, <laughs> then I'll let him get away with it. Well, listen, Simon, you see it. Andy Robertson came for that league. Kieran Tierney, best two left backs in the league. Correct? Best two left backs you've ever had. Correct. The only two decent left backs you've ever had. But also, every player that goes down there also ends up being the, the best player in their team. So, John McGinn's probably Villa's best player. Yeah. John McGinn is a top player. Yeah. A top player. Scott Good. McTominay, best player in my United. Um, I mean, you said to you, I mean, you said to me two minutes ago that Scott McTominay starts for England. One hundred percent. I mean, that is a disgrace. Well, do you even, better than do even race? come out with that statement. Did you see the Europa League sums final? Sums up why your podcast is in Scotland. <laughs> Jimmy boy, did you see the Europa League final? Good point. Yeah. Paul. Who was Man United's best player? The highest stage of that uh, Man United season. Oh, Cavani. My ass. He was. <laughs> Bert McTominay. McTominay, look, he's a, he's a good player. Very good. I like him. I'm not, I'm not disrespecting him, but come on, he doesn't get in England's team. Right, look at this. Jude Midfield Bellingham, three. Declan Rice. They're talking about Calvin Phillips starting. Fuck me. I, I, I don't think Calvin Phillips should start for England. No. I think, I don't think he should go. I don't think he should Would be. Do you on, know that. No. Is he going? Has he been picked to go? But look Has at he... this midfield free, Kev. Right, McTominay, Gilmore, McGinn. That's better than Rice, that starts Henderson, for Man United. and uh, Bellingham. Come on, Jamie. Billy Gilmore doesn't even get in Chelsea's squad. Champions League winners, though. <laughs> so he's, playing in the, well, he's a reserve team player. He's playing in the under-23 league. Are you telling me he starts for England? See, that three, you've just, that three you've just mentioned there, mate, starts for Man United. I agree. 100%. Yeah, better well, than Fred. McGinn, that. McGinn's gone. Like that. That, that's, that's, that's a decent three. I think, I think McGinn is a, will be a great signing for Man United. Yeah. I think he's a top, top player. Top player. Wait, you've you've actually got... He, Scotland, I mean... Uh, Qualifying for the Euros, normally for a few years they were kind of just non existent, weren't they? Like they were just nowhere near it. Yeah. But actually, now you look at the team and I think it's, it's, it's a good side. Yeah. They've got a proper team. You worried? Nah, I'm not worried. Oh, you know? I but think you'd... the pressure's on England, yeah. right? The pressure's on England. But you've only got to get three. You, I mean, with you know, with the, the, the third team that comes through, that gets through, you've ba basically got to win Jimmy, one. Why game. is it that they. 
I'm going to say you're a typical English fan. But why is it Ooh, that all English like that. fans arrogant, arrogant towards how good their side is when they've done f done jack shit? Oh, Kevin Kyle, wow, Kyle. <laughs> super big man. Who's put ten pence in him? I'll do. I know, but I've got, got, I've got to be honest because he's, he's blowing your but trumpet every year. <laughs> and then you say you, you, you unblow the trumpet heading home every year. He blows the trumpet every year. Only, only not beef. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, look, I mean, you agree with me. You've got as a well, point it, to that. Is in England. As in England, like you do get over excited by the, 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 well, the opportunities. I don't think we did. You do. Leading into the World Cup, I think we just everyone had kind of possibly had last year was the best. The, the, the first year. We got to year. the semi final of the World Cup. How can you not? No, be that, that was. And I'm not just saying this because of Scottish English. I don't want this to sound like that because I hate that. Do you know what I mean? Scottish guys, Scotland. England. That run to the World Cup was nothing short of an embarrassment. Who did they play Dagenham? They played Dagenham and Redbridge. Aye, Billy Cray. Billy Cray, Billy Cray, Billy Cray. Seriously though, yeah. would you admit that? Yeah, but we played you in the, in the qualifiers, didn't we, Billy? Like, it knocked you out. <laughs> <laughs> no, but do you know what I mean with that World Cup? I think that's a wee bit false for England to say that because they went... No, I mean, it was an easy run, but you've still got to go and do it. You've still got to go and win it. You've but still I, got to go there the and scrape, the scrape, get results. They scraped by the Columbia penalties. Sweden, me, us, me, us three would have beat that one. Beat and and then Croatia. <laughs> England should be beating Croatia. Yeah. Do you understand me? No, they should have won the game. But Croatia were a good side. Modric was he's unbelievable. But I, I think if you're going into the Euros now with this group, I think the pressure's on England. Before in the World Cup, England didn't have pressure. You know, they, they wasn't worried about it. It was going in as a, sort of underdogs. It was, it was a young squad. Go in, enjoy yourselves, see what we do. Yeah. And we've and we done great. The problem we've got now is... One, Scotland's in your group, so that's massive straight away pressure. And two, all these players now have come to the fore as, as top players and they've got to produce in a big moment, you know? So this so that's Southgate's got to manage that carefully. But we've always seen here Gareth Southgate would rather win the fair play award than actually win the tournament, <laughs> he? Would, mate, No, wouldn't. I think he's got something no, I think he's got something about him. He's, he's quiet. You know, it's not you know, I, I you you're very much sort of like you're loud, aren't you? Yeah. You're very loud. Yeah. But England <laughs> are more sort of just do it, do it by the book, do it properly. But he was last pick in school every time Gareth Southgate, wasn't he? I was and top, loved it as well. He was a top, <laughs> and loved being last pick, didn't he? Said he was a top it. player. <laughs> he was a great. But see, player. I don't want to keep banging on about that. And but well, back onto Big Kevin's point about the media. I think, from Scottish point of view, that's why you sort of you want England to get put out because the way the media talk about them. The players are fine. Yeah. It's immediately. I've got nothing against the the, the, the the group of players. Now I think at some point that group do deserve a bit of success. I think there's a big opportunity for them. Gareth Southgate, I do like played against him. Had a chat with him a few times. Great guy. What did you but chat about? What did you, mate? Sorry, what did you and Gareth Southgate chat about? It's never been a Simon. chat. It's never been a chat. It was, was a, it was a high and that was Simon. a. Simon. What did you chat about? Come on, then. We just what? chatted about how great, how happy he was to see me resume my career after being injured for 18 yeah. months. Oh, did he? What, what was he doing? Right, was he cleaning his boots or something? Mate, <laughs> his win was playing in the Premier League. <laughs> Kevin Gold. <laughs> no, we played in the Premier League a few times, so it was just a rumour at that time. Obviously, these two will not understand that, Jamie. But anyway. Uh, Champions League. So, <laughs> Champions League? <laughs> That's Celtic. Yeah. Right. Is, is Spurs the biggest club you've played with? Yeah, Spurs, yeah. So Most that definitely. means I played for Celtic for 15 minutes, one appearance, but in that 15 minutes, it's more pressure than you ever felt in your <laughs> playing career. <laughs> what, because it was Champions League? Champions League. Yeah, it's a fair point, but Great 15 point, minutes, you had 15 minutes of fame. 15 minutes. So oh, no, like, you had, no, you had no. a weekend of fame in Amsterdam. Oh, you also what, played what the happened? What happened? He played in the Europa League at 16. Yeah. Which means you get in the Champions League. Yeah. You can't get any better. You can't get any better. I think you chucked it. Yeah, you, you, it. yeah, you, you, yeah I But what age was that. the Europa League? 16. 16. Done that then. I mean, you don't look like a footballer. Don't be saying that. <laughs> Cheeky bastard. <laughs> Do you know what like? Cheers, how nice are these shoes though? I'd, I'd, I'd buy them for my missus. What, the new balance? <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, what, what are they? But a cheeky bastard, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Uh, is this England's best opportunity then? A long time? Oh, God. Best opportunity in a long time. I would say no, because I think we should have won something before, like Euro '96. Mm. I think we had a Gerard's great team. team. Yeah, like we had that golden generation. Yeah. I think this is a chance for us to go the distance with it, obviously being at Wembley. But I, I still think there's still a young squad, and if I look at the players at the minute that we, they've, some of them have dropped out of form. That's what um, makes me a little still, bit worried, you know, Rashford. like. Sterling's dropped off, Rashford's dropped off, Grealish has been injured. 
You know, Harry Kane's been injured. He's come back. He wants out. So where's his headspace? You know, John Maguire, Stones. Maguire. Maguire's injured. Doubtful. John Stones was poor in the last month. So I don't know if we're going into the tournament with sort of real informed players. Who would you start, mate? <clears throat> if, for, so, so, for, if you get through, like, because you might rotate it, but for your bigger the, games. The big game against, the starting game against Scotland. Croatia. Well, That's no, a big game. No, Croatia is the, ah. the big game. <laughs> Scotland's like you play the B team, right? You rest, you rest <laughs> up. You rest up for that one, right? Yeah, you, you play like Bellingham and... Bring in a couple of 23s. Southgate, Southgate probably play himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Put, put Southgate in. Uh, <laughs> no, I mean, for Croatia, I would I would start Pickford. I would start Chilwell. If Maguire's fit, I'd start Maguire. I'd start Stones, but I think he needs, he needs to, I don't know, I'm a bit worried liven about up. him. Yeah, he needs to liven up a bit. Uh, watching the Champions League final the other night, I thought Rhys James was unbelievable. But I still think Carl Walker, with big game experience, World Cups, he's been there, so I'd start so him. You're going four at the back. I'd play. Oh, you have got to play four at the back. All but this safe kit, doesn't he? All this three at the back nonsense. Like, look at that three, that nonsense. Chelsea have just won a Champions League. We three at the wow, back. Yeah, yeah, but, and yeah, but, Champions League. yeah, but it, yeah, but for, not for England though. Oh, right, it's okay. Yeah, for England, it's. I mean, I love. I played three at the back when I was when I was a manager. I love. I, I love the formation, but with England's players and the players that we've got, with the power that we possess up front. I think you, I think you're hurting the team playing three at the back. No, but do you know, if I, I, I honestly think we, when you've got as strong as right backs as you have, that if you play Walker as the third centre half, Reese James can yeah. play, and then it fits it to them. Well, in. I think he potentially will do that as well. Yeah. I think yeah. I think looking at the way Maguire's not fit and John Stones' form, I think he might play three at the back, and I think he'll play Carl, Carl Walker in a back three yeah. and play Reese James. But I would play I would play one sitting. I would play Declan Rice holding. I would play Foden. Uh, and Mount. Mount's good, isn't he? Yeah. Foden yeah. centre yeah. mid? <clears throat> Foden centre mid with Mount. I'll play Rashford, Sancho and Kane. Harry Kane. Some team in it when you put it like I that. I mean, it's a great side. But he won't. Southgate won't do that because oh. he's he's more defensive-minded, isn't he? He's more... I can't the international worried, stage worried. is different. It's, it's, it's possession-based. I can't believe you've played Rashford there. But I love Rashford about, as a guy, but no his form. Are you worried about Stephen O'Donnell? Stephen O'Donnell? <laughs> <laughs> is okay. he joking? Daniel O'Donnell's ball. <laughs> I, I swear I played with a Stephen O'Donnell when I was a kid. He was a good player. That's oh, no, a left footer. He was yeah, a good player. He was a good player. player. Yeah, yeah. He, he was, was at Arsenal as a kid, didn't he? Yeah. I remember him. Right. Uh, are you worried about Scotland? How much do you know about them? Well, I know you've got two good left backs. <laughs> they just aren't. Yeah, they're, so they're definitely. I mean, you changed your well, whole. Well, one's a left centre back now. You changed your whole back. way, your whole philosophy of Scotland. <laughs> No chance. But so have England. 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 So have England. England have done the same with Walker. And Robertson. So have England with Walker and James. <laughs> yeah, 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 Simon, ship here. No, that's not true. That is true. No, it, it's just that's Gareth Southgate's chosen formation. He likes that. You've changed your whole team just to play Tierney and Robertson. No, but Tierney plays there for Arsenal as well, left centre back, didn't he? I, I oh, I mean, he's man. unbelievable. Good, I mean, he? he's the best in, the, in England. Defender. Best left, left back. back. Nah, he's not. Who's better? Chil no better in no way he's better uh, Chilwell's better than him. No way. Oh, I mean I'd, I mean I think Luke Shaw's better than him. <sighs> Luke no. Shaw and Chilwell are in front of him right now. Cut this. <laughs> That's my cab. <laughs> no. <Nah. laughs> <laughs> uh Slaney, does Scotland need to beat checks? First game. Well That's a game you're looking at to win, for, uh, you three don't know this. This is unbelievable. You don't want to win the group. Because of who you're gonna get next. The team that won the group. Yeah play the group France, Portugal and Germany. Right. So if you finish second, you get the easier run. So what England done the last World Cup... So you're already making excuses for finishing third? Well, we are going to finish second. We want to finish second. Right. Because England last uh, last World Cup bottled it v Belgium but wanted to get beat so they get the easy run. And this is going to be the same again. You don't want to finish first because you're going to get, as I said, Portugal, France or Germany. Yeah. So... I so do you think England will be going out to finish second? I think so, because I, I think England go out if they if they finish the group top. I they'll, think one of the, go the next game. Them. I really do. I think Portugal, Germany. Yeah, or... but you can't you can't go into a tournament thinking nah. let's try and lose this one nah. so we finish second. Like you've got to beat the team. You've got to win your games. It's yeah. simple as but that. I think that one of the win. Three, do you think that they'll knock out Portugal, France, or Germany the next round? No way. I, listen, I, I think, think you, you've got at the end of the no, day. My you've got to win. You've got to beat. You've got to beat the best to win the tournament. It's simple as that. But England's not going to do that. They're not going to beat the best because when they come against the best, they don't. Perform. They, they, it almost as if they, they act like a smaller club, a uh, smaller nation, and retreat. I, I feel in the bigger games. Do you know what I mean? I think you've got the players there. Go and express yourself and play. So, what do you, you blame Southgate for it? Then he goes too defensive against the bigger teams. I think so, mate. Aye. I think 
I think last... It's hard to disagree with him on that, do you know wow. I mean? as much as I want to. Because I you think... two are actually getting on better than I thought. Get... Yeah. 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 I mean, we know stuff, don't we? We're, we're proper players. Right. Right. Proper Champions yeah. League players. You're meant, you're meant to come on and yeah. kill him, though. You're his best mate. That's always <laughs> happens, <laughs> mate. Yeah. I mean, you just got to sort the clobber out. Do you know what happened that, no? Well, I mean... Yeah, we're doing a wee bit in the Euros together. Zoom calls and all that. Are we? Naked Zoom calls. <laughs> <laughs> I really hope that you can get... Some... There's, a, there's a nice shop over there, actually. I see it when I got here. Kev, who do you think look better naked at Italy? Toss up, no, it's, it's, it's bad. Both. It's bad <laughs> Back in what. the day, I mean, no, it was no so question. You, yeah, yeah. yeah. So what do you think is similar, similar between the two of them? Similar? Aye, they're similar. They're horny. Oh. They're horny. Oh, no, 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 I'm old now, I'm old. That's gone. <laughs> no, I mean, back in the day. So you're, you're, back after, you're back after the horny chat, are you, back in you? You don't like that? What? Getting caught horny. Horny? Aye. <laughs> <laughs> Slaney's going to rock up next week the shows with new tattoos, aren't he? Yeah. He wants to be Jamie O'Hara, doesn't he? Listen, this is getting... Do you want any tattoos? I mean, just there, off my ass. Flag tag. What you got? You have butterfly. No, He's got no. a butterfly. In he has He's going back. He's, yeah. We are all, You've got a yeah. tramp stamp. A tramp stamp. Uh, You've got a tramp stamp. Yeah. Listen, this is getting a nah. bit too fucking nice. This show. Oh, <laughs> I want to go back to heated. <laughs> well, right. Well, Scotland England game, Kev. What are you expecting for it? This will get it going again. I think Scotland will sit in and frustrate England, and it's up to England to break them down a bit of quality. But the Scotland, like we, we are going to this quality European Championships for the first time in a long time. And we've, we've actually, like when you said that, that midfield three of like McGinn, McTominay, Gilmore, that won't happen. But it actually gets you quite excited thinking if that did happen. So if you had them three and you put Robertson on the left, maybe Fraser, Fraser on the right, back three, Chi Adams and maybe somebody playing off of him, it looks not a bad side. And you think that could cause England problems at some point because... It's like, a championship team, team isn't it? <laughs> Championship Every single one of the players he just mentioned plays in the Premier League. Well, McTominay, but, McTominay, 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 McTominay. but it's like you know, like when you put a team together, you look at it and you go on. You know, like you know, on like FIFA, you get a rate. You put that team together, you'd get like a free rating, wouldn't you? You know, <laughs> you know, like it's like a free star I'm not rating. That. No, I think that team's more. It's than a good team, competes. but none of them. That are, wins the Premier League. That none team. of them are that their best the players. None of them are the best T players in their teams. Tierney's the best player. No, I disagree with that. Robertson's been Liverpool's best player this year. He's the only guy that's played Salah's, every game. Salah's one of the top scorers in the league, finished second. Yeah, but he gets he gets dropped all the time. Robertson never dropped the clock, plays every Because he's game. got no one else. <laughs> he's no, got I a him. Yeah, you would have clearly as Arsenal's best player this season. My God, Arsenal fans are fucking crying out for him, aren't they? Yeah. Mike Tomlin has been Man U's best midfielder. Aye. McGinn? Best, Mike, mid, best midfielder. midfielder. I'm going to let you try again. So who, who's, who's, try been again. who's been the best midfielder? He's going to say Fernandes. But, but Fernandes right. plays off the front. He's not a midfielder. No. What, what do you mean? What is that role then? He's a 10. So what's that? That's in between midfielder and attack. <laughs> no, that's a midfielder. <laughs> McGinn's Aston Villa's Fernandes best midfielder. Who? McGinn's been Aston Villa's best midfielder. What about Jack Grealish? He's been injured half injured. the time, isn't he? Not interested. Shut it. Not interested. Jack Grealish is Aston Villa's best player. That's the thing, right? Scotland have got a good team. Solid team. On paper, you get, hey, you know, as you said, cause problems. Cause problems. It's not England, is it? They're a champ. It's a, it's a championship team put together. <laughs> Scotland and they're not, a decent Scotland side. Scotland be England. Team. You know, they're like Norwich. They're like, like Norwich. <laughs> Did you feel the last time we beat? They are, aren't they? They are. <laughs> <laughs> I think, honestly, if, if England turn up, we beat you four or five. But we should have been the last game time. last time. We had a let. We had a worse team. We probably had a better team the last game. It finished oh. two each, and we were two one up. Yeah, but we were bothered though, weren't we? Was it? A, it was Gary Neville was fucking. Gary, Gary Neville was greeting. And the no, commentary box, wasn't it? He shot his load when, <laughs> when <laughs> Griffith scored, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, it wasn't, it's not a big moment, is but it? I think this big is, moments, England turn over Scotland, simply. But this is what I'm saying, this is what I'm talking about. The All, media. Every time. There's an Throughout ad. history. What moments are you talking about? Maybe he's at the last game at Wembley. Well, no, Don Hutchison. Uh, take that. Uh, In your last game at there Wembley. You go. There you go. Was biggest that moment of your... Was that really a game, but was that a big game, though? It was. It was a second a qualifier. Yeah, maybe you're right. We'll turn up. Scotland will turn up. I just instantly go back to, you know, Gaza. Over Colin Hendry, Bosch, see you ah, later. But even that Bosch. game, even that game, we missed a penalty. Penalty, exactly, Kevin. We made an unbelievable no, save. Yeah, we you probably could you, have won you, that game as well. You bottled it. I don't think, I don't <laughs> think England, I really don't think England are. Uh, I mean, you're just surprised to even be in the Euros. Oh, no, look no. at us. <laughs> look, you're building stadiums and everything <laughs> to get people here. Like, these are these have been up for 20 years in England. <laughs> like, this is just normal. Got like, you're all excited about oh, this. Got us. Like, it's like, you, yeah, you, got us. you uh, can't yeah, even got believe us. that this has happened. You're like, how are we here? Yeah, cut that. Do you know what I mean? Cut that. Cut that. You're like Spurs in the Champions League final. Like, how have we made it this far? 
Oh, brilliant. What can you say? No, listen, <laughs> Just say that's, that, that, that's what I was done. Cut, I would cut that bit. <laughs> right, so what we're saying was, well, give us the outcome of the Scotland-England game and then give us an outcome of the group. Who's want to go first? Who's putting right, the balls go, on the line? I'll go Scotland-England Scotland draw. Nil-nil. And Scotland miss out. They'll have they'll have a win and a draw, but they'll miss out. Like, That'll the get ball. them through. No, because we did three it, we did it back, back in... No. Three teams go through. Three teams you win a game, you're going through. Right, yeah. so you saying Scotland finished third in the group. At some, Scotland some finished third, teams. I'm winning a draw and they get beat by... And who's winning the group? I think Croatia. Wow. I, oh. think, I think England win the group. I think Scotland qualify. Um, England will be out in the next round. That'll see that clip right there. That'll get played back as soon as they get put out. There you right. go. I think, think so. that'll go viral. Aye. But you, some third teams can actually... Some third teams can so actually So how does the third it? teams get through? Is it highest points in third? I goal? don't know, but it's, I mean, well, it's should have done your research really before you the Europa Conference League. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Like, if, right. if you finish third, you should go into a different competition altogether. Like, so play just play different... like the European Championship Conference Wait, League. Wait, then a total cup? Yeah, like, like, <laughs> like, like the Wembley Cup that you paid. That beat you. That we beat you. Never knew that, did you? Oh, certainly beat your at the Wembley Cup. Not a problem for you, sir. And Barca as well. Friendly. Paul, prediction Scotland, England. One each. I do think so. I think Scotland will get a goal. They'll, they'll make it hard, make it stuffy. Southgate's not interested in that. Stuffy? What's stuffy mean? Ask him. What's don't stuffy mean? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I could go be cigar and you could do it. <laughs> you get any cigars on you? It's like a gen- uh, stuffy. <laughs> so I'm going to use that, that cigar. One. What do you think, Sai? <laughs> I think England will beat Scotland. Right. Oh, Simon, don't. I'm sorry, I, mean, I need to be totally honest. I, don't I would think say Scotland, that England, England should be beating Scotland, but no, I've got this obviously fairy tale in my head that I think that Scotland might get but a point. I think Scotland will still go through in third place, I but so. I do think England at Wembley, I mean, I mean, it, look, it's, it's going to be a tough game for Scotland. Remember it's a tough game, right? The pressure's on England. It's the, it's Scotland go into that game, you know, underdogs, a bit like, bit like the Champions League final, right? They go into that Chelsea, underdogs, make it difficult. And, you know, England could be nervy, could be nervous, but... If they turn, if the right team turn up and he picks the right players for that game, it should be comfortable. Ah, if, England, if England turn up and, and, and get it going, it could it could be a lot. It could be a, it could be a, it could they could score. No, I, I mean a, a couple of years ago, I'd say it'd be like four or five. Not now. But I don't. So think it's Scotland. Are you going to give us a prediction of what? I I will say um, eight 0 England. <laughs> 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 no, I, I reckon I can see you scoring. I'd say three one England. There we go. I think we beat Croatia. Is Croatia the same team? I think as we beat are? Scotland, and then we and then we just and then we re- play reserves for against, the rest of it. against the Czech Republic. Czech Republic. I don't then, think Croatia are the same team now as our nah, last nah. tournament. Well, they've, Modric, aged, they've aged, didn't Modric's, they? They've aged. Yeah, they've aged, didn't they? You played with Modric, didn't you? Modric. Was he unbelievable? No, nah, he was. He was a joke. Was he the best? Because that was some teammate winner. Him and Berbatov. Yeah, I mean, I was lucky at Spurs. I played in. A, I, I was lucky to get through in a great side. Berbatov. Did you clean their boots? Huh? No, I actually cleaned Glenn Hoddle's boots. Wow. Yeah. My God. And I was very you, happy to do that. Actually, that's that's went at the game, He it? was a proper legend. Ah. It's out of the game, though. I, I think it's a joke. It should be in the game. I'm, a, I'm a still a bit old school, though. He's probably yeah. one of the only commentators from the, the old era. I Too think, flaky he, now, isn't it? Uh, when he yeah. talks, he's uh, he sounds very modern still. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. He was an old player in the 80s and 70s, but... When he talks the modern game, he's right oh, up he to speed with yeah. yeah. He just knows the well, game. Only annoying thing is when Ian Wright calls him gaffer every two minutes. Yeah, I remember. I remember when I turned up and uh, he was he was the gaffer, and uh, I, I trained with the first team when I first went to Spurs, and um, it was unbelievable. Like there was like Rebroff there, Jamie Redknapp, you know, top players, a good side, and Hoddle was the gaffer. He played in the seven aside because there wasn't enough players, so the gaffer put a bib on. Best player. He was the best player on wow. the. He was the best player on the team. Wow. He hit a volley from about 30 yards out, like where he's just like, you know, like where he's just levitated off the floor yeah. into the top corner. I was like, it's the gaffer. Wow. He was unbelievable. Like he was the best player on the pitch. More importantly, what was Jamie Redknapp like with his clothes off? <laughs> he's got oh, a good looking yeah. man. He's a good looking man. Wow. See that Spurs team mate, with, with Bale, that was, was Modric, would he even stand out more than Bale? No, Modric was on another level. Bow, I mean, when I was, Bow was in and out of it. He wasn't, could never Aye. see like him becoming you know what, what he become. Like he was obviously a left back and he was athletic, but I couldn't see him becoming like a yeah. right winger, of, like striker. You know, I just never really, really saw that. He was sort of quite. He was quiet and he was going for a bit of a bad time with injuries. But I could never ever see how he become so good. Modric was just in training every day. You couldn't get a ball from Berbatov as well. I mean, Berbatov. I was a young lad, so I was hungry. You know, I'm busy. I was a busy little. 
prick. You look like you're hungry now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm always hungry now, but I was I was fit and hungry. <laughs> Wait, I can't be you're taking that. Yeah, I'm every time you me. Look at them, look. Milk yeah, bottles you out. Seen me. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I eat, uh, yeah, Berbatov was just, he was a joke. Like, he was so good. He was an arrogant. Give us a couple of shouts out of big team ah. shouts there. Yeah, he was an arrogant prick. Was I he? Think, yeah, he really was. Like, I, I like, I like, he, he wouldn't shake your hand. He wouldn't say morning till you walk past him. He just kind of bombed you. I like, never really, really spoke. He, he was above you, you know? That's what he does on here. Yeah, well, I've got that impression. Uh -huh. But he, yeah, and he was, I used to like try and say, and I remember playing once. I was a young kid. I was, you know, I was, shut, yeah, yeah. Like I always wanted to get on the ball and, you know, make myself heard and I was fit. And I remember Berbatov got the ball once in the middle of the park and someone passed it to him. I've made a run behind him, like an overlap. And I've screamed, Berba, like put me in. And he hasn't even looked and he's hit one with the outside of his boot right footed like i mean like 60 yards to my toe where i've just tapped it in and i walked back and he, he come jogging over i thought he was going to say oh, great run like shake my hand well done he walked over and said hey you don't need to talk i can see you huh <laughs> i was like okay berber <laughs> oh, like, i love that yeah i was like you mug. when i got old i thought you mug so he, if he was a prick who was who was top man Robbie Keane was top, top man. Was he? Top draw, like... Him and Robbie Keane signed for set, like on the same day. Really? Yeah. I and look at his career compared to yours. <laughs> <laughs> I've sold it at Hydro. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so. No, I love Keane. Keane was like absolute legend. He looked after me. He, he digged me out when I needed digging out. Um, Why would he dig you out? Well, he would just be like, what are you... He, he, he was always he was always 100% in training. You obviously... You know, played with him, and well, he probably didn't play. He, didn't he, he was in the reserves. He was on the reserves. No, right? yeah, yeah. I, was, I trained with him, but he never trained. He you used to go back to Spurs. If, when he said, were you there when he came to Celtic? Uh, on loan. On oh, loan? No, I don't know. He came he wanted to come to a bigger club, he said, didn't he? Bigger club in Spurs, yeah. aye. Right. Couldn't he deal with the, the, the lack of ambition at Spurs? The, the lack of players that Jamie O'Hara played me when I was there. He was playing for 60,000, didn't he? Play with guys like me, he said. Did he sign for Rangers? Don't. That's a hey. That's a no go that. But did you know your comments on Gerard Bay Bournemouth was. Yeah, I, I was a bit naughty that. It, yeah, but I, I wasn't wrong though. No, you were. No, you, were. you said they were a bigger club. Yeah, maybe I got that wrong. <laughs> <laughs> mate, have you no. played at Bournemouth? All right. Mate, it's like playing in your local park. Yes. It's about 3,000 people. The, reas the reason I said it. I've had Mayor Peter on the house. <laughs> and I, I, maybe I, got, I'm, I got the wording wrong. It, it's, it's a better club. At, no, and look, again. You got no, it wrong again. No, you got it wrong again. No, no. In terms of. In <laughs> terms of that they just got relegated. They'd been in the Premier League for five years. Rangers were playing in, you know, dog and duck league where Celtic had dominated for 10 years, right? So I was looking at it thinking, they got no chance, right? Gerrard's got no chance of being successful there. Didn't obviously realise how good he was going to be. But as at, when you're looking at it, you go Bournemouth have been in the Premier League for five seasons, which is worldwide global branding. They've dropped down, but they want to get back up so they could do one season in the championship, get back, and you're a Premier League manager. Or you could go to Rangers and not be successful, and everyone, and you're almost finished you're done. before you started. Because if you're not successful with with with, with, with you know Rangers or Celtic, then you know you, you're not really going to go and become a Premier League manager straight away. So that's why I said I think Bournemouth's a better job for him, but he he proved everyone wrong with no, how good he was at Rangers. You know, like he's he was incredible. Yeah. Happy with that explanation. See, that's the, the, <clears throat> the Donald Duck League, but I think every league, though, is a two horse race. Juventus were going for 10 in a row, so they've won it obviously nine years in a row. They look stupid with that in. With the, are, are, are it's we not having, a snooze, it's are we having stupid. A, you're, you're, you're saying you look stupid with a snooze in your mouth when you've got that hat on. <laughs> <laughs> Happy in it, hipster style in it. So, what I'm saying is, every league. The same team wins it, PSG, France, Leo, oh, yeah, Leo, Leo. Come on there, but the, team, the other teams compete. Who? And, and France, they compete? My arse again. Well, they do. Leo, I mean, Leo you've just got won Leo, Leo, you've got I mean, Leo. Rangers just won Scottish League. Yeah, right, mate. I agree. You know, I mean... But in England, it's the same. Man City, Liverpool, aren't it? Man City, Liverpool, the rest are oh, miles yes, after I, miles. And the was, money they spend in that league, fuck me. Yeah, but come on. It's, uh, the Premier League's the most competitive league. You can't say, you can't get away from the fact that there's only ever the going to be two winners in Scotland. It's either going to be Celtic or it's going to be Rangers. Would you say it's the most competitive league in the, the world? Or was it the Johnston's Paint? What was that? Is I it? played in that, the Johnston's Paint. Who, who just won the cup up there? Johnston's Paint. St Johnston. St oh, Johnston. <laughs> yeah. St. I Johnston's painted me in the living room with a Johnston's Paint the other day. I thought, I, was, <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was going to have the branding like cup finalists. Would you say that's the most, the most uh, 
The biggest league in the world, the Premier League. Absolutely. Who's won it the most times? Who's won it the most times? Oh, s- what manager? It's got to be Alex Ferguson, no? Correct, Scottish. There you go. Not a problem. He's the greatest manager of all time, fact. I think. We had this Absolutely. debate last week on the show. With paper, or, paper or, or Sir Alex. It's, I know. I, I said, said Sir Alex. He said, you said, said Pep? Pep. Yeah. Oh, come on, mate. Well, listen to this. Right, I, was, I was thinking about this. So, Sir Alex, he's actually came out and said that that team, Ronaldo, Tevez, Rooney, was his best team ever at Man United. Right. Pep's Barcelona team, we can get a kick against them two Champions League finals. Yeah, but it's because he had Lionel Messi in it. Yeah, but, but my argument before was, what was the Barcelona team then before Pep went and what was it then after Pep left? Yeah, but he had, he had, listen, Pep's a great manager, but Alex Ferguson stayed at one club, built team after team after team every season, was always, and dominated the league with 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 great sides in it. No, I mean, I agree, he's an unbelievable manager, but... Judging like he, Europe, he, he made, Europe. Look, I mean, you look at some of the teams that started actually with. Like, started with, yeah. like... Yeah. Pep wouldn't get results with John O'Shea and Dujemba <laughs> Jemba and so <laughs> I mean, he signed their players. He signed their players. What? He signed their players. Yeah, made them great. Do you know what I mean? And he got the best out of them. Pep Guardiola, in my opinion, can only manage the best team oh, really and the good. richest team. That's hard to That's hard to me. No, no listen, I'm happy to say no, you're, 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 you're arguing an argument. You're saying obviously, but Fergie obviously struggled in Europe, so to a point. But I think back then. The European sides were far better they than were what they better, are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah they because are. Because now it's only the top European sides are the ones with the money. So your PSGs and yeah. what have you, the ones that have got the money yeah. are able to buy the best players. Whereas back in the day, you would have right good European sides across the board. But it's very difficult to manage a top, top team. Since Pep's left Barcelona, I think they've won maybe one Champions, Champions League. So yeah. to be the, when you work at the top, the players suss you straight away. So you yeah. need to be yeah, the yeah. very, very be the best. best. Do you know I mean, and if you don't, you'll be it. So. Your, your Barcelona thing is when he left Barcelona, likes Iniesta, Xavi, that kind of retired. So the, the nucleus of their players disappeared. Yeah. Yeah. That's why Barca haven't. No, I had Iniesta for ages after Pep went. No, that, and Busquets and Messi. I'm not having that. Exactly. Just a good to take the argument if somebody else are asking. But the, 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 Sir Alex is this party. Scottish. The only thing with Alex is the best in the world. Sir Alex is the best. Greatest of all time. Have you met him? Well, I've played against his team. What was he like? On the touchline, can you ever remember any rants or? I can remember him just. Uh, he just used to have them eyes, you know, like where he just used to stare at a couple of. I remember him staring. I think it was Ronaldo's. I mean, I marked him out in the game when we played at Old Trafford. He only scored two. Are you played left back. Yeah, I played left back. And you played right wing. I have played oh, him. No. Yeah, Surely and he played right put, wing. She you put a cross. He, he, I mean, I played. I got man of the match. He scored two goals. Did you get man of the match? <laughs> I got man of the at match. Old Trafford. At Old Trafford. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I don't know how. I was ridiculous, but um, but I remember watching his. I mean. For me, growing up, Manchester United were. Like, I was a Spurs fan, but I loved Manchester yeah, United. Yeah. Like just growing up, they were my idols. You know, Skulls and you know Bex and you know when Ronaldo and all that come. I just loved watching them. And Sir Alex Ferguson was me. Was just like he's probably one of the only people you stand in front of and you get kind of starstruck yeah. when he's standing in the tunnel. He always used to stand right at the back with his suit on. He just always looked, and you just used to look at him and think, I'd give, I'd give anything to play for him. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But I just wanted good enough. And what was he giving Ronaldo the death stare? Yeah, you know, like he just had the old death stare, innit? He didn't even really need to say much. He was just that death stare when you used to hear, when you just see, used to see him look at him and you think. What about best you played against? Who was the best you played against in the Premier League? The best player, I, I mean, for me, you'd have to say Ronaldo. I mean, he was, I, I, that, it was funny because I just started playing left back and I played really well that week against Ronaldo. I mean, he scored two, but. He had to go over the other side and he went out onto the left and ended up. So I, I had a good game against him, but he was unbelievable. But actually, the, the, the player who I had the biggest stinker against was Steven Gerrard. Was Be- he? Because he was just... I remember playing against him at Liverpool, Water Lane, and I was thinking, I was young and playing against Liverpool. I thought, Gerrard, you've got to nail him early. Like, yeah. I was like, I'm going I'm to do him. I've got to do him. <laughs> And then, so the first one, I've gone like right over the top of him. Bosh, have some of that. I thought, I'm, I'm, I can handle this. But that was it. I was like, I just poked the, the bear. Beast, uh-huh. Yeah, I just poked the beast. And he just, he, he, uh, the next time I tried to sort of steam into him, he played a one two round me, zing one, 70 yards. Next time he received it on the off turn, saw me coming a day before I'd even got there, nutmeg me, put, you know, like put Fernando Torres for 45 minutes, gave me the biggest run around of my life, the biggest footballing lesson I've ever had. Super. And I walked, and I, I got dragged at half time, and uh, I walked off that pitch, and I was just like, wow, I thought I was good. He's fucking but he, they, he was on an, he was on another planet. Yeah, and he was doing that to everyone. Yeah, and there's <laughs> but, here by the, with the producer of Celtic and Rangers going to the Premier League. The more I 
But the season. money that they've got. Well, but, if Celtic and Rangers went into the Premier League, let's get one for you. They wouldn't get I don't hear it. They would not get it because they're much better Sheffield Jew. I said, you know yeah. what I mean? One of the worst fucking performances in history. Fulham. No. Fulham, my God, Scott Parker. What a guy, but an embarrassment performance. And whoever, whoever West else. Brom, Sam West West Brom. Brom. Big Sam. 100%. Celtic would get relegated. No, no, no. no. Oh, Rangers no. would stay up. Oh, my God. I think Rangers would Close stay up. Close as Benny's here, didn't he? No, I genuinely, I think Rangers, if you're going off this season, Rangers right. would stay in the Premier League just. They've just won nine in a row. Celtic would get relegated. They no, would go no, down. No. They would go no, down. No, the money, the money they would get in the summer. They would... oh, we, oh, it's all you ever talk about. It's like, <laughs> if, we, if we got the money, <laughs> like... That's what like, the Premier League is. That's, 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 that's why you've got to the teams. Listen, they, I, I've said this before. I said, give them a couple... If they survived, and they, and they did, I mean, Celtic would have to go down and then get back up. That's but Rangers, I think, could then become Quite like stop. a sort of top eight side with the money. Eight. See, Celtic, uh, uh, listen, I'm going to just say, bar Man United and Liverpool, Celtic is bigger than any. Yeah, that's here. true. That is They're true. bigger than any other. Worldwide, are. worldwide. Because Man City base. had been bought with money. Celtic? Ah, ah, fan base, worldwide. Rangers would be bigger as well. Ah, 100%. Would be bigger, other than Man United. Was it bigger than what? Arsenal. Yep. Yeah. 100%. Arsenal, what, what I walked about LA with a phone on, and there was never Simon any Arsenal. Uh, <laughs> Scarves or bad Celtic pubs everywhere. Right. Aberdeen's bigger than Arsenal. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I actually remember Aberdeen played Burnley. Burnley finished seventh or eighth in the Premier League that year, Europa Cup. It's the closest game you'll ever see in your life. The fact that Burnley's staying up in that league that exactly long, tells can't you. be that. Zero guys have played against Sean Burnley Dyer should too. become the Celtic manager. All the Burnley He's players now. Manager, yeah, he? He? All the Burnley players now playing the Premier League. They're all League One, League Two. I know. Playing in England. That's that's where the Say Premier League is now. Uh, Burnley's team now, most of them played League One, League Two when I was doing that, eh? Right, yeah. So what happened to you? <laughs> He's picked no, them up. Yeah, 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 the the yeah, but they're playing Premier League. So it's not great. Now. It's not great, it's the standard. I think the standard's Outside gone. The I, I think the Premier League standard's gone way yeah, down. It's agree. just about being fit and yeah. professional. Aye. The talent, I think, has gone. It's not as good as it used to be. Gerrards, the Scholeses, you know, them type of the Roy Keynes, the Vieiras, the Petits. In my opinion, I think the Premier League's the levels dropped massively. But then you say that, and I agree with them, mate. But then you look at Europe; it could have been Man United, Arsenal, in the Europa League, Man City, and Chelsea. So the clubs are obviously still, still doing it, aren't they? Yeah, but I, I agree. Yeah, but I think world football, the players. I, now, I mate. just I, when I, I when I go back to when I was playing and trying to break through, I look at the players yeah. that I used to think I've got to get in front of, and I'm thinking I've got no chance to get yeah. in front yeah. of like Modric. you know like Modric and, and now you it's know Soko. Yeah, now it's like Harry, Harry Winks, and and Eric there. Dyer, and I'm thinking. Oh, I'd, give, I'd give my right arm to be 21 yeah. again. Yeah, I, I mean? the standard has been doing me on it. I just feel like it's gone down. You know, look at Arsenal. I think when I was at Arsenal as a kid, and I, I signed for Spurs and I was 17, and I was looking at the squad thinking, Arsenal want me to sign a pro deal, but I want to be push, I want to push on. I want to try and get in the first team. Have Vieira and Petit play in midfield. You yeah, know? him as well, Ray Parler. Yeah, you know, as well. you're thinking, they've got no chance. Yeah. <laughs> uh, just on the reaction, uh, things you say about Scottish football. Go on. The Bournemouth one, was that the worst? Yeah. Twitter went wild, didn't that, it? That was, that was out there. I mean, I got I got hammered for that. And uh, listen, I, I like to have a bit of a laugh with Ali about it. You know, I always dig in Ali out. He digs me out. And it's hard to dig Ali, Ali out because he is, he's a legend. Yeah. But I always say to him, like, look, mate, really and truthfully, he scored 800 goals in non-league. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, he's the best, he's the greatest all-time non-league goal Striker. scorer and he, and he you know because he went to Sunderland, Sunderland and flopped like absolutely flopped so he, he can't even say and you what know, did like, he give you back to that he basically was just like how many goals have you scored and I was like yeah uh, so it's hard uh, uh, do you I, struggle with that mate when, when, when the, the online like when they come hammering you do you struggle with it I, you know what sometimes you know yeah. like if I'm in you know sometimes I'm in a good mood and I, I like listen it's all light hearted you know like I respect the game I respect everyone you know whether you're non-league whether you, you know I respect you I like to have a laugh and have a have a joke And but some people obviously I didn't realise how big Celtic and Rangers were until I slaughtered I, them. until I had made that comment yeah. and I didn't even mean to slaughter them I was just having a chat but when you see the fan base and how big the actual clubs are, I mean, they're, it's ridiculous. Yeah. They? They're a joke. They're giants, right? I think Gerard's realised that as well, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah and, I, and I think, look, we're in a bubble down London. You know, you have the London clubs and then you kind of venture and you go Manchester. But, you know, like, until you really see the fan bases at Celtic and Rangers and you see it properly, you don't realise how big it is. And they are, they're, 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 they're monsters, You're right? You're actually a, a really nice guy. 
<laughs> what did you think I was going to be a whopper? A whopper. <laughs> but what I'm going to end it right here is Rangers and Steven Gerrard had a great run in Europe. Europe. If Fulham were in Europe, they would have been embarrassed. Yeah, they would have okay. embarrassed well, the whole of well, England. Well, they would have embarrassed the whole of England. Let's stop and you right there. Because if the Fulham were in it, they'd have shut the tournament down, get them out of the fucking <laughs> tournament. The last time Fulham were in Europe, they got to the final. Correct. Yeah, That'll but no, that's Fulham team. What? No, but no, no that's Fulham team. That's Fulham team. That's Fulham team. Rubbish. Who's good for Fulham? Well, you, you got Mitrovic, you got Tom Kearney. Mitrovic, he's just got to knock him out of the Euros. Know, him out. Good, Good stupid. I said half in Motherwell, marked him out of the game. Who? Oh. Declan Gallagher. Big Declan Gallagher. No, but you know what I mean? Rangers went a great run in Europe, mate. You can't even. No, up listen, no, I, I love Gerard is my idol, so instantly. You know, I I love watching. I want to see Rangers and see how they play and how they do. And they, they, I mean, they're playing some great football this season. They were top draw. They were they were class. They were top class. So they've been also the pressure listen, it's, it's, like kind of been, it's been embarrassing right. though, isn't it, for Scotland in the last sort of nine, ten years, because Rangers have been so far off it that it's kind of it's it's, it's been a one horse race for nine years, and then they've, they've oh. managed to. But as I say, that, that's like Bayern Munich were on for nine, ten in a row. Juventus, yeah, so it's happening yeah. all over the world. So that's the, 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 the club of Celtic are that big worldwide. It's too hard to compete are you, with them. Are you comparing Celtic the Scottish to Prem to Bundesliga mm. and Serie A? I would say maybe a wee bit better. <laughs> <laughs> right here we go. We've got a new feature for the Euros. You still going to play each other? That's as exciting and that loser takes a spoon of cinnamon. Come on, Jimmy. You're not going to be. We a, haven't got cinnamon. Do you, want to come on, do you want to come on one of the live shows we're doing? I've, you're making about, what is it, 50 how grand? Many people, 50 grand how many there. people are there? 1,000. That's not enough. 1,000. <laughs> <laughs> right, it's going to be Slaney v Jamie, a competition introduction for Grosvenor Sport. Your decision game is. So it's a yes or no game. <sighs> so we're going that? to start here, right, with Turkey v Italy. So you need to give me your predictions here. I'm going to ask you, Slaney, we'll go for you first. Are both teams going to score? I'm going to say no. Jamie? I would say yes. Okay. Who, wait a minute, just to try to say, I know this is near the game, but who is up front for Turkey? Hakan Sukar. Hakan Sukar. You don't know, so you've, based, you've said Turkey's going to score, but you don't know their team. It's a bad, bad shout. Sorry, bad start. we need to well, apologise. No, 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 he said, he said, <laughs> sorry, we need both teams are going to score. Yeah, both yeah. teams to score. Yeah, it's opening game. It's going to be... It's Italy, scores. very defensive. Aye. I think it'll be a good game, that. All right, will, be it be dirty. A, will it be a draw at half-time? You can go first this one. Draw at half-time. Yes. Paul? Yes. KG, why not? KG start. KG start for the, for the start of the tournament. You, what, Will there be over 9.5 total corners in the match? Yes. Yes. Okay. Definitely. Set it, pieces are massive in, in the Euros. Yeah. Massive. England oh. done it the last World, eh, World Cup. That's what they scored for, wasn't it? Yeah. Set pieces. Embarrass. <laughs> <laughs> Will there be five plus minutes of stoppage time in the second half? Definitely, yes. Because mm -hmm. of VAR and stuff like that? Just because of, yeah, I think it's going to be that. It's a, the Italians v the Turkish. It's going to be... Do you like VAR? No, I hate it. Do you, mate? I hate it. They should scrap the whole thing. I think it's pathetic. But see if you see if you had far remember the goal you scored with Germany? Lampard, Barlin. Wouldn't have counted. No, it would have counted. Would have counted. Oh, would have Do you think, Jamie, yeah, that VAR's a problem? No, I don't like running, it. The, running VAR's a problem? The, is VAR the... More... I think maybe the way it's being run at Aye. Stockley Park is a shambles. And I've been to Stockley Park and they've got a great setup there. I don't know how they're getting it so wrong. Like it's. So who, who has it? You've obviously been but there. But I just feel like... You see, right, like, get the Champions League final. Right, mate, we'll day. come back to Van a minute. We need to finish oh, this feature. Then we'll go to VAR. You're all right, mate. That's why I run the show, mate, and you sit there. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Mate. Five minutes of stoppage time in the second half. I'm going to say no. Right. Three minutes added on. OK. Uh, finally, Italy to have two or more cards. Yes, yeah, definitely. No, I'm going to say no, mate, because I love the I love putting the cards on. I love betting on the cards. They're not coming in anymore. No. The referees are very lenient, so no. Right, OK. Uh, we're going no. to go Wales v Switzerland now. All right, so how about we think about the Wales team, the Swiss team? Wales v Switzerland. Bad Wales. game. It's a bad game, mate, isn't it? Is that the first two opening games? That is it. Scotland are better than Wales. Both teams to score, Paul? Scotland are better than Wales. Aye. Um, no, it's a nil-nil. It's a miracle, it. but it is. I don't know how you're uh, Wales. Jamie, both teams to score? Wales v Switzerland. Yeah. I think, yeah, I'd say yeah. Did you say no? No, mate, that's a no no written away, that. Right, OK. No, I think, that's, I think there's goals in it. Over 8.5 total corners in the match. Yeah. Jamie? Thinking Wales, yeah. Wow. Corners. Yeah. No, actually, no, I'll say no, this one. Right. I'll say no. You're saying yeah? Why do you think no? I just feel that... I don't know. I'm going to say fucking, <laughs> I'm going to say no. Is that right with you? Wales, my bet. 
<laughs> Who else to make the first substitution? Yeah, it was just... Fuck yeah, because yeah, Bow will probably get injured. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go Wales first, I. Wales first, OK. Bale to have two or more shots on target. Ah, oh, fuck I, 100%. Yeah, 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 yeah OK. Come on. And then draw at half-time. Yeah. Yeah, I'd even go as far as say it'd be nil nil at half time. Ah, no no half time, no no full time. All the way. Brilliant. Okay, so it's free to play. Which is amazing. Anyone can play for free, didn't right. you put any money? No money, money at in all. Your pocket, nah. Free to play, mate. It's all right, isn't it? Ten yes or no questions per round across two games. Up to five K prize for top scorer in each round. Overall leaderboard winner receives ten K at the end of the tournament. If you get six or more correct, you win a ten pound free bet. It's all right, isn't it? Decent. Nice, eh? decent. You don't memorise that, no? Nah. You're a, you're a host you're as well, aren't you? Well, you? Know, yeah. no, no, yeah. Enjoy it. So, you, it. so you could give him a few tips to be honest. It's hard. Well, he's good at it. The, the, the first tip I would do is probably not like hold the scripts like that. <laughs> do you know, like, you know, yeah. you, the people need to, you know, you're on film. Well, I right? just want to make sure that these are spot on, do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. it's, a, it's important. Right. Let's move on. The Euros, who'll win it, Kev? Uh, I would say Belgium. Oh. De Bruyne's it, so that's him done. They're, they're not, agent, they're not the same team. <laughs> Hajar's no the same team. Nah. He just, he just, he's 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 can't he mate? The other night seeing him. Ah, Who's going to be a Benzema and Mbappe. Benzema's like, back. Benzema's yeah, back. back. France have won it, mate. I can't see anybody. I else. think France favourites, I'd say Portugal. I mean, you can't write them off. They're the holders and they've still got the same team and they're probably not better. Yeah. So I would say France, Portugal, or England. Well, Belgium just, must be under more pressure. When France everyone... and, yeah, France and Portugal. Is De Bruyne out? I'll be England do it then. <laughs> the next round. France, Portugal, no, we don't necessarily plan though, do we? We might, we might knock one of them out. So do you know how England's going to win the group? I think England win the group. So that means you'll get one of them? Exactly, but we might, one of them, we can't, they can't all win it, can they? <laughs> one of them we've got to get knocked Who out. Who wins that last 16 game, wins the Euros? If England win their group. So do you think England could win it, kid? Oh, I think they could. Let's, let's, try, let's not beat about the bush, we're trying to take the piss here. Yeah. England, we're trying my best, but... On paper, England's got a right good side. Yeah, of course. Young players. You're, you're desperate, aren't you? You, you, you know, like, aye. you're desperate to find it. You're clutching. Man. I know. <laughs> <laughs> they, they've got you a got chance. Chris Hoy. Can Graham Obrey come back up? Not a bit. Uh, no, I can't. I've got to stay off the Siberians. They're no good for you. Every footballer does them now. You know that. Oh. Everyone. I and don't, don't get it. Shouldn't you be allowed in fact? Why do I? Have what, what does it do? You still there? Describe it to me. It's like having a cigarette, isn't it? It's like a fag, mate. It's like a fag, isn't it? It's no good for you. Yeah, but see, when you take one when you're drinking for your first time, absolute whitey, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. I've been, yeah, carried out of a club. Who's the best? Who's it? See, when you were with Spurs and stuff? No, mate, we're coming to that. We're coming to that. Oh, sorry, mate. We just need to finish this. I mean, he's trying to strike his I mean, really, you should add that to him. He's the man, isn't he? Because he's the man, right? He's the boss. Can I come on your show? No. On Talksport? Please. I'd love you to come on, mate. Would you, mate? I'll be good. I'll wind them all up. I think you'd be good. Thanks very much. But the problem is, is they need like sort of. But no, big names. Uh, yeah, names. Aye. You know, you, they two are perfect <laughs> for radio for Kev, aren't they? They two are perfect for radio, aren't they? Uh -huh. Faces for radio. Uh, a golden Faces. boot. Golden boot. Who are we going? Golden Ronaldo, boot. Ronaldo, maybe. Benzema. Ronaldo's last hurrah. She Adams probably. No, I think I think Harry Kane will score a trick against Scotland. So I'm going to say Harry Kane. He's just won the golden boot in the Prem. I think he's going to win it in the Euros and then he's going to sign for Man City. He thinks Harry Kane's arse are tied together. He thinks he's slow. Too slow, Harry Kane. He doesn't need to be quick, though. He's not, he doesn't, he's not blessed with no, pace, but my, is he? My but... point was when he played with Mourinho, they were sitting half hitting the counter, wasn't he suited to Harry Kane? My opinion. He doesn't play like that for England, though, does he? But they only be sitting in. No, I don't, I don't think I don't think. You he's... think they're going to attack France and Portugal? Goodness me. Listen, we all Massacre. know in, international football is very cagey. D yeah. It's very okay. He's no, it's rare, you know. It's, I mean, he's the only team I've seen that actually go off it was Kosovo, and he ended up getting beat like six two or yeah. something, you know. But yeah, international football is just. About Did you play international what? football? Twenty ones I played for. Did you? Yeah, wasn't good enough to get the England team. But Who's under talking about the manager? era, that, that know, era was Skulls, Gerrard, and Lampard. I mean, yeah. and Bex. Who's your manager? Who's your manager at twenty ones? Who's your manager at twenty ones? Stuart Pearce. Good. Loved him. Top top guy. Psycho. Brilliant. Psycho. Yeah. He had something about him. I really like him, and uh, he's he's obviously doing well at West Ham. They've got it right at West Ham with him, yeah. Moyes and that Kevin Nolan. Uh, Kev Golden Boot, ex striker. Who you going? It's hard to argue with Harry Kane, say, because I think he scores goals regardless of who he plays against. I don't think he has a. I don't think he have to. He doesn't have to set a certain style of play to score goals. He just shoots on sight, finds himself in right places, and he's got a wee bit of everything. He can header. He can t get on the turn, half turn. Mm -hmm. For me, Harry Kane will give a shout. Ronaldo he's, will he's, have it in my shout as well because yeah. 
they'll get penalties, they'll get free kicks, things like that, whereas England, Harry Kane doesn't, will, probably won't take free kicks, I wouldn't imagine. Well, maybe. I don't know, I think yeah, it was few, before it? it was Dyer, wouldn't it, was taking right. him in Trippier, but I don't know if they're obviously going to play. Eric that's Dyer Dyer good, free kicks, that's got to be a good decision, no picking Eric Dyer for this round, eh? He's Southgate's boy for Dyer, Aye. isn't he? Aye. They play chess again in the room, didn't they? Aye, before big games, innit? He was yeah. gutted leaving him out, wasn't he? Gutted. Yeah. Uh, Dark Horses, who have we got? Scotland. Scotland. Scotland, I agree. Aye. Scotland. Do you think so, mate? Aye? Yeah. I think they'll get through the group. I think they'll get through. Uh, breakout star, Foden. Is he a breakout star? What, in the Euros? Uh, in, in terms of international stage. Um, By the way, can I just say that he said that Foden's better than Gaza? Yeah, I said that. Did you, mate? There yeah. you go. Oh, he, yes. Well, he already is. Wow, same really we played a good debate Listen, on that, it's, it's, uh, I lo- Gaza was, again, an idol, but he's the people's uh, hero, uh, isn't he? Uh, because of, you know, the drinking and the culture and it being Gaza. But if you're actually looking at careers that Foden's going to have, I mean, he's almost already had a better career than Gaza. Yeah. I mean, he's 21. Sorry for a good half there, Simon. That's fine, mate. Tell me what you like. Uh, right, we're going to ask him about a few heroes that he, he's, he's worked He's the presenter here, isn't he? I mean, yeah, take that. Take just that, you right? ask, then you go. <laughs> ask him. Aye, we'll just talk about... Alan Brazil legend. Absolute legend. The best drinking, the best drinker I've ever seen. Tell us that story. So you start at 10 drinking. Yeah, so we start at, well, we do the show at six. And when I first started doing it, obviously I was excited to go out with Al and that because I like having a drink. And I like, I'm, I'm a bit of a, I'm a bit of a softy with drink. I like a shandy. Blue wicked. I like a shandy or, you know, like, or a night. <laughs> Or a cocktail, like a pina colada or something, you know, like... What? Yeah, what? Are you like, set a booze on have a pina colada? Yeah, why not? Fuck off. Do you? <laughs> nah. Well, if I'm on holiday, I'll have a pina colada. But if I'm sat in, like, a boozer in Glasgow, I'd probably order, like, a Mai Tai or something. Or a oh, Caprina. my God. <laughs> you know, like, something something nice that I'm going to enjoy drinking. I don't sit there and enjoy drinking a big pint, like, pretending to be, like, William Wallace. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, um, but on, Brazil I, does. You know, and I just sit there with a big gut, you know? It's big enough anyway. But, ow, I went... After the show, I'm like, it's 10 o'clock, you finish. 10.01, he's like, right, downstairs, there's a pub that opens. We're in there, Wheat Sheaf, it's called. You're in there, 10 o'clock, first pint, every morning. So I sit there and go, I'll, 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 right, so I'll go down and I'll order a shandy. So I'll have, I'll have a shandy, I'm sitting there. Within, by 10.05... First pint's gone. Love that. Wow. Right. Then it's another pint. Then it's another. <laughs> and honestly, by eleven o'clock, he'd done. He'd, he'd done ten pints. Is he one of the guys? And he wasn't. He, and he wasn't like. Even steaming. Wasn't even like yeah. it was just like breakfast. Hadn't eaten. Like I, if I'm drinking, I've got to plan my whole day around. But you got to pre match, didn't you? Pre match. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I've yeah. got to have you know half time. You know, I've got to get something in me. When I'm steaming, it's like right now. I've got to have a nut. I've got to get a kebab quickly or something yeah. before we go to the next place. He was like, no breakfast, nothing, just bang at it from ten, and then he's like, right, twelve o'clock. He's like, see you later, Jam. I'm off to the Ned. I'm gone. What's the Ned? Another boozer? Ned's like a private members club, and he's just another boozer. He sits in the boozer every day. Every day. What wow. a hero. But, See, he's, but he's not like, he, he's, he says to me, he's like, he's not an alcoholic. He just likes, he said, if, social he, media, he just was like, he's just sociable. Like he's just living his best life. Can we, can we keep up with him? Ray's the only one oh, who has a go. Mate. His videos but, are tremendous with the Cobra, isn't that? Yeah, but uh-huh. Ray, he, he, he tries was, to keep up with him. But have you seen the tube video of him steaming and his quiff yeah. going in it? You know, like, you, no one can keep up with Alan. No can McCoy drink? Yeah, but Coisty's really flaky, isn't he? You know, like he's a proper <laughs> flaky guy. You know, I love him to bits and he's, you know, we have a great laugh, but he always says he wants to have a drink and then he dips and then oh. like, well, we went out, we had a golf tournament and I, I drove and, you know, me and Al were, were in the car and we're laughing, having a joke and Coisty's in the back, and he's sleeping, you know, he's having a nap, you know, and I'm like, is he all right, this guy? You know, he's napping. So he's meant to be a Scottish legend. He's uh, a myth, isn't he? He's, he's, letting the, he's letting the side down. Yeah, he's letting the side down. But there you go, another the best drinkers Scottish as well, Brazil. I know. Is Brazil up here class as the best drinker? Is there anyone, is there anyone in Scotland that matches him? Big, you can down the place. Yeah, oh, I can, drink, I can drink. Back in the day, I think the most I did in a day was about 28 pints, but... This but guy see, sits if I done 28 pints, I'm in hospital. I don't drink. You don't drink? No. He just takes loads of Viagra, didn't you? Just Viagra. So you do snooze? Snooze and Viagra. So snooze, you do snooze and Viagra, but you don't drink? So when you wake up, you get a fear, mate, didn't you? Fucking have a text and all that. Oh. Yeah, but I know, yeah, but... It's... That's part of the fun, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ross McCormick, you play with him? Yeah, I played with Ross. How, how was he? Is that a feeling? I was at Fulham with Ooh. Ross. Doesn't seem to feel like him. 
No, I, I, <gasps> I, I did. No, I liked Ross. I thought he was all right. He was a good guy. He fell off a little bit, didn't he? You yeah. know, he had a bit of a fall from grace, and he was a he was a good player when I played with him. But was he good? Well, he was a lazy. He was lazy, proper lazy. He didn't Take ever, a joke but he was just like, he was one of these players, right? And and these players annoyed me in my career. Do nothing in a game but score. But we get beat three one. But Ross McCormack scored a free kick, yeah. and everyone's like, "Oh, Ross played yeah. really well." I'm like, hold oh, yeah, on a minute. Yeah. We lost 3-1 and he didn't hold the ball up once and give the ball away every time he got it. Mm -hmm. But he scored a free kick in the 85th minute when we're 3-0 yep. down. Like stuff like that used to drive me mad. Yeah. But, he, but he, he, he obviously was a great goal scorer. The next guy's a hero on the show, Edgar Davids. Edgar you heard the stories Davids. about McBurnett, huh? What was, he, what was he doing at Burnett? He, he, he wore number one, didn't he? He played centre mid and he just wanted the boys to pass the ball to him all the time. Do you know Barry Fuller? Yeah, Baz, yeah. Fullback supposedly like, played yeah, the ball yeah. down the side. Do you know Ricky Holmes now? Nah, he played with Yeah, Holmesy uh, with a big uh, massive cup. <laughs> <That's Yeah. laughs> Fuller played the ball in the channel instead of passing it to Davids, and Davids stopped the full session. He's like, What are you doing? And Fuller's like, oh, I've just put the striker in. He's like, Yes, but I'm Edgar Davids. Pass the fucking oh. ball to me. And then he went, Is this fucking kindergarten? <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> he, the, he was the manager, right? I played with Edgar Davids. I was at Spurs, at yeah. Spurs, and he was, you know what? He was a ledge, ledge guy. Was he? Proper ledge guy. He. he I used to go out with and do sessions. He was obsessed with like street football, you know, like doing step overs. Jogo Benito, yeah, like, like Jogo Benito, like all that. He was obsessed with it, but he actually helped me a lot with like sort of you know touches and things. But then he become, he left Spurs. He thought he was the main man, didn't he? He thought he was the main man there, but everyone yeah. knew Robbie Keane was the main man at Spurs, and Keane had put him in his place a few times. But um, and what way? Well, I no, yeah, him. well, yeah. I mean, I'm not. I've said it before, and Keane don't like me talking about right, it anymore because okay. it put. Yeah. It, it's, what about uh, Big Mido? Did you play with him? Yeah, Mido, yeah, he was a big boy. He's he was bothered, a good, he? he was a good player, but he I mean, he turned up the first day he got here and they signed him. I don't know where they signed him from. He turned up in a white in a white Rolls Royce Phantom. Love that. And I was like, who is this guy? Do you like and it, But he was like, apparently his family were like Royalty. Royalty, yeah. Royalty, like mega aye. royalty. Like he started he was so rich that he ended up playing for West Ham for like a pound a week. Didn't Did he, he ever cash anyone off? No, no, he didn't. He was actually he was he he loved the game. He wasn't great, but he's he heavy, loved, wasn't he? He was heavy, but he could finish. He was he's a good he was a good striker to have in your team. Good guy. Okay, who's the last one? Tarat. What a player Tarat was. Oh, Tarat. The, the skills most annoying player <laughs> to play with in my whole life. I hated. Did you? Hated playing with him. He used to wind me up so much. I mean, he had one unbelievable season at QPR and everyone thinks he's like Maradona. Yeah. So, but I played with him. He was coming through with the reserves and that. And he was the laziest guy I've ever met. He was arrogant. But he obviously had unbelievable ability. Like, he used to nutmeg every, he'd nutmeg you three or four times in training. You wanted to snap him in half. Yep. But... When he, when you, to play with him, I hated him because I was always about get the ball, move it, pass it, move it. He wanted to have the ball and go around six or seven players and then beat him again. And he had one season at QPR where I was like, it, that he was he was a joke. He was unbelievable. But I, I, I just, I used to hate playing with players. Like I hated yeah. him. Hated playing with him. He had in incredible talent, but he was just annoying to be around. He was one of them. He would do step overs when there was no need to do step overs. Yeah, he just yeah. Do you know what I mean? And it, it, it'd step over and he'd beat you and then you'd be like, right, well, pass it and give it. But then he'd Come back. turn back and want to try and nutmeg you. And I'm like, this is just... <laughs> who, was your, who was the craziest players you played against? Eh, played with, sorry. Craziest player. And changing player. rooms and night suit. And... I mean, David Bentley was a great guy to oh, have around. Oh, mate, his podcast where... Was it uh, what was the one he done? Oh, I don't I know. It was him and Bullard talking about what they done, used to do at Capello and that. Yeah, I mean Bentz was I mean he was funny. He used to crack me up some of the things yeah. he used to do. Like he used to just like he would come out to late to training because he'd drove one of the lads' cars on over the field or something and just <laughs> left like a Bentley with a roof down and I mean, uh, he run. I remember him. He built a snowman in Jermaine Genius's car. <laughs> 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 and like had a brand new Range Rover, and then like Genius like gets him, put his seatbelt on. I remember, and he just looked in his passenger seat. There's a, there's a big snowman in his seat, and then like you know, like stuff like that was funny. But managers, it it, it was bad because it was going to get into that point where that era where that, that managers wanted that oh, out of yeah. the team and out of the game. I think he'd probably be all right now. I think he'd probably get away with it again because it's kind of come back round the banter. But 
They went through a player a... as well, Bentley, wasn't he? Oh, he was unreal. Feet, I mean, yeah. fucking hell, he played for England. Oh, did he, did he, he stop playing early, didn't he? Really Bentley early? He'd done his ankle, he? he had some bad injuries. He bought, he's sacky of football, he, didn't he? He bought yeah. a big uh, beach bar, didn't he? He had some big investment in La Sala in Marbella and he went and just moved out there. Any other? As you yeah. do. Any other nutters? What, nut cases or? Um, nutters. And it's, I suppose we want the big names, didn't we? Yeah, That's I mean, really yeah, I, I'm trying to think of nuts. In terms of nutters, not re- I mean, I wouldn't say nutty. I mean, Didier Zakora was a bit like he was. He was a bit, a bit nuts. But no, I think like they were. You know, they was all good. They, I mean, like, you know, your players like. So you can all players that? are good lads, aren't yeah, they? Like, yeah. do you know what I mean? Like, I've I've never really come across maybe one arsehole, maybe one, Aye. who was, uh, and that was Benoit Asu Ikoto, you know, and I he think, back. the fullback, he, he actually came out and says he and hated he football, out and he come out and just play, basically yeah. said he hated football, and he was like that, you know, like, you could just see, he just didn't like, it was a job, and I did get that, I grew up loving the game, do you know what I mean, I would play, I'd, I'd, I'd play on a Sunday league pitch, if I thought I'd get 90 minutes, you know, yeah. well, you actually I, done that, for the second part of your career, did you know? Basically, yeah. yeah. I mean, I might as well have played for Celtic. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, being a bit of recce, I might as well have gone and played for Celtic. See, see that? Did you ever get asked to hey, Celtic or Rangers come in for you at any points? I, the, yeah, I think Neil Lennon was the manager. I think uh, there was a, a big there was a big talk of me going to Celtic on loan for a, 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 a long for the season, um, and uh, it was there was it was a big talk about it. And obviously, Celtic great club. It would have been. Look, they're a big club, you know, but I just thought, you know, I don't want to go and play in that dog and duck league. Got to stop, man. Yeah. You got to stop, man. Got to stop, man. Uh, <laughs> just saying, you that. I, went, he, I mean, I went, he to was Portsmouth. Like at the time. I went to Portsmouth, played 38 games in the Prem that season and got an <sighs> FA Cup final. That or Celtic, you know. Pompey. Celtic beat Barcelona in the Champions League that year, so I probably would have took Celtic. Absolutely. Um, 60,000 to Pompey, fuck me. Just think you two could have played with each other because he was at Celtic at that time. We'd have got one. Wouldn't we have? We would have got on. Aye. Yeah, yeah, I would have battered, yeah. <laughs> but Pompey, uh, Harry. No, you know what? It would have been. I, it, I, I dig out Scotland, right? I do, and I have a laugh. But to play, listen, pe- people always ask me on Talk Sport to dig out the Scottish teams and the players and all that. And I'm like, well, hold on a minute. They're, play- they're representing their country. These are top players, right? And if you're playing in the Premier League in Scotland, you're a, you're a top player. You're a good player. Yeah. So it would have been, I would have loved to. I would have loved to play for Selwick or Rangers. That's nice to hear, isn't it? Uh, when you but, went to Pompey, here at Harry Rennert, good guy. Top. I love Harry. Harry actually, I mean, he helped me a lot. I mean, he actually palmed me off from Tottenham. He bombed me because I, I was obviously starting to be a twat, you know, going out wearing shirts like that. You know what I mean? Like giving it large ones. Bet your birds loved it. Yeah, birds. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it. but I, I, I just picked the wrong ones and <laughs> <laughs> and you know, and Harry kind of bombed me off. He was like, you know, like it was that going through that time where. You weren't allowed to be seen to be doing that, and it was silly from me. I made some mistakes. Should have just—I should have had a much better career than I did. And you know, look, when you're young and you've got money and you've got the big contracts and that, you kind of get carried away a little bit, don't you? And, Jamie, see that on that sort of interrupt you through your conversation. It's, it's a good point because it's obviously we hear a lot of young listeners as well, even young Paul here. <laughs> <laughs> why is it? Why? What, what do you think needs to be done better? So, so I, I would be doing the same line as you. I look at—I had a good career. It was, it was played with some good clubs. But I feel it could have been better. You yeah. probably feel that same. Yeah. And you say that the money goes to your head. That was probably me as well. I didn't probably earn the levels of money that you did, but it's irrelevant in terms of your lifestyle and stuff yeah. when money gets to that point. It, it, it overtakes you. Think you you go back to your hometown, your belly big boys, you buy fancy clothes, you yeah. get fancy cars. How can that be better? How can younger kids I, not do that? How what is it that what is it that the FA or the Scottish well, FA or something needs to do to I make think that the better? I just think the guidance needs to be better. I think the, I think contracts need to be staggered. Yep. better you know you I, I went from earning like a grand a week to 25 grand a week do you oh. know what i mean like uh, and all of a sudden you're going from getting four grand in your account every month to getting 100 grand every month you know it's money that you can't in your brain yeah. and i've come from nothing you know like little sort of council estate yeah grew up with nothing i don't I, my dad wasn't rich he didn't know how to deal with Aye. money he didn't know how to save money and put money away and how to spend it you know I, I grew up so i'm getting it and all of a sudden i'm buying nice cars i'm doing nice things all of a sudden i'm going to the best restaurants and you take your eye i took my eye off the prize and i yep. think the mm. guidance in young lads needs to be so much better you see it now still you know like Grealish has gone through it mason greenwood's yeah. going through Ford, it a little Ford bit done it as well, you know like the own it's, it's very like i mean rashford is you know amazing with how he's been and you know to the way he's dealt with things and but 
you know, you see so many young players going through this still. And you think, come on. The amount of, I mean, I was on big money. I was on 35 grand a week at Wolves, which was huge money. That, I mean, that's not even championship money now. I know. Yeah, you know, I know, like, I know. you're talking two, 300 grand a week in the Premier League. These young, who are 20, imagine if you had 300 grand a week and you're 21 tw to 25. But me, I mean, how are you not going to go off the rails? Gareth Southgate you was the only one the right... that ever went off the rails, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was just he boring was though, wasn't yeah. it? So boring. I mean, <laughs> he bought a new pencil case every week, didn't he? You know, like, <laughs> I, I played with James Milner now in England and I was like, mate, like, you're so boring. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, go and have a drink, mate. And then I sit there and think, he's still earning yeah. 150 grand a week All and right. I'm sat here doing this. Do you know what I mean? What was the most ludicrous thing you bought? Remember? Yeah, I bought a white Bentley. With, with diamond Bentley oh, badges. No. And and I look back at some of the pictures on Google and I think, what a mug. Aye. What a twat. Who and was I, your manager at that time? Uh, Mick McCarthy. What did he say? So yeah, that he? went down like a lead balloon. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like that, that was like, it was just not a good look turning up, especially I was at Wolves and we were struggling as well. And I'd obviously come in and I was, you know, but when you're young, you don't see it, no. do you? You know, like I look back now and I look at that, some of the stuff that, some of the stuff I used to do and like the magazines and the, I remember we got relegated and I went and re hired a yacht out in Dubai. It, in your head, you think, well, I'm just uh, having a nice time yeah, and relaxing. Yeah. But to everyone else who loves the game, who paying their hard earned money to come and watch you and you haven't played well and then you're going to live it up. I look back and think, what are you doing, you prick? Do you know <laughs> what I mean? Like I changed so much, not, not, not the way I played or how I just, some of the things I used to do, you just, and Double I just think, things, and it's still bad that the guidance in football is terrible. It's even what, mate, it, it, 16 year olds who have never fucking kicked a ball with the first team are now getting unbelievable contacts. Five, mate, mate, they've not even played. Mate, yeah. there's players in the Chelsea reserve team and the under 23s have never kicked a ball to, on 30 grand a week. Yeah, on so, 30 grand a week. You, you, and you don't even know who they are. Yeah. That shouldn't and be. You, and it just think not. like that, just the, the game is just, in my opinion, the game's changed too much. It's gone. There's, now, there's an element of when you play football, you play it for the love of the game, but at the same time, you're still trying to make a a, a, an honest living and provide for your future. Of course. First, like, I always thought that was it's the two of them, the two goals were the same. Yeah. To play well, you got that, and that's how you. Now it seems like, in your circumstance, my circumstance, and many, many other football circumstances, when you get a level of money, it takes away from the other side. Why you're there in the first place? Yeah, and it's like you're talking about what you're buying. I remember being at Sunderland. I, had, I bought a house with two garages, and you come from like a council house that cost your mum and dad thirteen grand. Yeah, and all of a sudden you bought a house with two garages. I'm like, well, I better buy another car because yeah, I need. I've got two garages. I remember mm. getting by like a wee mini Cooper or something, and I got like it was all black, and I got black and white checks on the roof. I fucking rolled up at his son with black and white checks and roof and, and that's like my rival's yeah. main colours. I think, I th yeah. <laughs> it's stupidity. It's stupidity. Yeah. Of it. I think as well, like, you, you think it's going to last forever, don't you? Right? Aye. I mean, when you're playing, like, we, like, you know what I mean? We all still think we're young lads, but we're old now. You, you think it's going to last forever. So when that contract comes, you think that's, that's, I can spend this and spend it and spend it and it's just going to keep coming. And when that day comes and you're like, bang, there's no phone calls. Yep. The agents are not calling you. Yep. You're trying to get a trial at fucking Warsaw. <laughs> and they're like, no, not for us. And you're like, you winding me up, mate. I played 100 games in the Premier League. I can't get a trial at Warsaw. You know, like, you, you know, like, you make, and you're thinking, wow, like, yeah. I have, I've gone. And then you're sitting and you're thinking, like, I've gone, I'm going through a divorce. I'm going there. The money's just going out. You can't. And you're thinking, well, what are you going to do? What, where, and that's, right. and that is what you got to be careful of as these young lads now. And, you know, the money they earn is, is, is crazy, but you, you got to, you got to remember why you play football yeah. and what you've done it for. I, I, if someone turned around to me and said, I'll give you a two-year contract to Tottenham, I'm going to pay you £5 a week, I'd, 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 I'd lose a hand for it. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. To walk out on a football pitch and just play the game that you love playing. And I think I went through a little bit of a period where I forgot about that. Yeah. Yeah. What about managers? Any good managers that would be a bit different? Um, oh, God, managers. I mean, Dean Saunders was car crash. <laughs> Was it? Yeah, I mean, he, I mean, he took over Mick McCarthy. Well, Stel, Stel Solback and come in. Do you remember Stel oh, Solback? Yeah, yeah. Bold, Bold, I yeah. mean, honestly, the worst manager I've ever seen. Hey, in what way? Well, it just, I mean, it, uh, it, that's disrespectful. I shouldn't say that because, you know, he'd, he'd gone, he won the league in, I don't know where. I mean, I don't know another Dog farm, Duck League. Another Farmers League. Do you know what I mean, <laughs> no, can't remember what it was. No, with Cop he won it with Copenhagen, yeah. so he won a decent, better than the Scottish Prem. No chance. Um, <laughs> but he won that league, and he come over, and 
He just didn't get it. He was. He, he just didn't get it. It was the championship, right? And it was like Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday. You know, Sheffield Wednesdays. Yeah, Sheffield Uniteds. You know, like whole proper like proper games. Choose, and he just he did not understand English football, and he got thrown in the deep end, and he was. You could see him just sinking and sinking. Every team, oh, he was, oh, no, we're fucked. We're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> we're fucked, boys. We're fucked. And you're like, you're the gaffer. Like, you oh, danger. I'm fuck. <laughs> you know, <laughs> we have to win this one, boys. We're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> we're bottom of the league. And we've got, like, we've just dropped out of the Prem. And then, and then, like, to make it matters worse, he brought in Dean Saunders, of all people. Like, Dean Saunders still thought he was the best player. Hey, he's having himself. No, he's yeah. having himself. He used to talk about all these, you know, cars that he's got and all these, you know, fancy. I'm like, any danger, you're just picking the right team. Like, you know, like, and it was, it was, yeah, that was... After Mick McCarthy, they didn't realise how good Mick McCarthy was. Like, Mick oh. McCarthy was amazing. Especially just, that level, wasn't it? Just, at, yeah. For that level, it was, you know, no nonsense. You knew what you were getting. But you was on side for him. You'd run for a brick wall for him because he'd have your back. And but he was straight to the point. Do you know what yeah. I mean? And he'd tell I tell you how it is. So Wolves, you know, you look at you look at most teams that Mick McCarthy leaves, they never actually really get better. No, Do you know I mean, they kind of they though, regress. Yeah. You know, Wolves got worse. Ipswich got worse. Sunderland. Uh, Sunderland got worse. I mean, got Ireland. Promoted. Ireland have got worse. Do you know what I mean? They can't win a game since he's I left. Know. You know, so you know he's always for me. he's... People don't appreciate how good he yeah. is as a manager. Did he ever go through you, Mick McCarthy? He dug me out a few times. Yeah, so what? he dug just just being a twat. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. he just dug me out. And he he was, never raised his voice much. He no, just, he was, it's just the way he spoke to it you. It was just the way he spoke. Made you feel that you were a piece of shit. Yeah, yeah. and he you, just, you knew you disappointed him. Yeah, yeah. I remember we played against Liverpool, and I thought I'd had a good game. When we were playing Liverpool, I was like Alonso, Mascarano, Gerrard in midfield, and. And I thought I played all right. I probably touched the ball about 10 times. Do you know what I mean? But I thought I played all right. And he, I remember coming in on the Monday morning and I was sat in a TC, his little puppet comes in and knocks on the door, didn't he? The, yeah, he goes, the gaffer wants to see you. I was thinking, oh, you come up. You know, I've only just signed. Walked in, he's got, you know, like the big, uh, nothing worse is there. You know, like the, the curtains are closed. Yeah. The big TV's out and the game's on. You know, and I sat there for 45 minutes and he was just going, what are you doing? Where are you going? <laughs> what are you doing? And I'm like, Gaffer, it's Liverpool. Did like, we, would you see that back then? Yeah, yeah. I was like, Gaffer, we're playing against Liverpool. Like, uh, I've got I'm playing against Mascarano and Gerard. And he's like, no, not good enough. I said, like, you carry on with that. He's like, carry on with that, lad. You won't be here. So I've just signed. <laughs> <laughs> just got that. here. You just paid five million quid for me. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> but it was, it was straight to the point. Oh, yeah. You know, he just said it how it is and. Uh, I love that about him. Aye. You know, I, I like that about the him. The managers are gone now for the game, aren't they? Aye. They're going there. Yeah. I think hundred... it's like a coach. Well, you're not you're not a manager anymore, are you? No, you're no. a head coach. Yeah. You know, like then I love coaching and it's great. And you want you you want oh, yeah, I want to implement a philosophy and you know I want to play three four three and play not like. Aye, but aye. you know, like but how many how much time do you really get as a manager? Mm. If you don't go in and get results instantly. You're out the door. But the yeah. players know what the players want that though now. Well, players are weak, aren't they now? Mentally, like, yep. like mentally they're weak. And you know, I'm I noticed that more and more. And I, I've gone into coaching different, obviously non-league is, but you still young, new mm -hmm. young players that you're dealing with. Like, I could tell you, uh, you know, half time, you fucking prick, you best sort yourself out, or you're fucking coming off. Yep. You say that now to a young lad at half time, he's gone. He's a wreck. Yeah. Yeah. He's gone. Like he's got no chance. You know, like and I, I and I just think like them if someone if, if Mick McCarthy dug me out, I'm going out in the second half and I'm snapping someone oh, yeah. and I'm raising my game. Because yeah. I'm thinking that, that mugs he's mugging me off, you know, yeah. like digging me out in front of people. But you say that now to young lads, I just you feel like they, they you lose them. They feel it's a personal attack. Yeah, it's like it's personal right. and they, like you lose the dressing room, you can't say that to him, you can't no, speak no. to him like that. You know, I threw a tactics board across the room. We got beat like in the last minute of a game. And our centre half, you know, give the ball away, and like in the ninety third minute, when all you got to do is just put it in Rose head, and he gives the ball away. Guy comes in, lose a game two one. I've come in and I've I've slaughtered him. You know, like proper gone in. And, he, and he's a grown man for quite honestly. The the guy wouldn't talk to me again. Oh, you sad. know, like wouldn't talk to me. Yeah. You know, he was just like, and he's a big guy. I mean, you could hit him with a brick ball. You could hit him with a brick wall, and he'd stand there and talk, oh, yeah. you know, but. The biggest melt <laughs> I've ever known. Like, and I'm like, have something about yeah. you, for Christ's sake. Was Redknapp like that? Was Redknapp go through you? 
Yeah, Redknapp dug a few out. He dug a few out. Even the big boys? Yeah, he dug... Oh, yeah. No, he dug Bow out. Did he? Oh, big time. He dug Bow out um, in a couple of times. He'd bring, he'd bring you in, sit you down, you know, the whole team and go, you and you, you know, like he was... And would anyone have an answer back? Or would no, I think... No, no one... Because we, we had a good side. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I think... Uh, and I think we, he, he let us you get away with quite a bit well, I mean we had a Christmas party didn't we like, he was he didn't like Christmas no, party no I hated that he Harry, used to cancel Harry, him, didn't he? so That's Harry cool, that, the big thing was like he hated a Christmas party so we we organised a Christmas party before Harry even knew that we was having a Christmas party right. because we knew the questions were going to start coming about Christmas parties so what he didn't realise was we'd already gone to Dublin on, on the Wednesday I think at the weekend and we'd had a I mean, a proper big night out, a major one, you know, the, the, you know, a proper yeah. sesh. And we've all flew, we've all flown back. And on the Thursday, we're in training. He does, he does the, uh, the press on the Thursday. No, no, t no Christmas parties. <laughs> My boys ain't doing that. Nothing. Well, news of the world, Sunday, oh, no. we're all over the back pages of it. Christmas party has got this gone off. I mean, we are falling out of. I think there's some club in in you know uh, what's it called Crystal or something. Crystal, yeah. yeah, Crystal in Dublin, right? So we're all falling out of there, and <laughs> I've never, I have never seen someone lose his shit <laughs> as much as on the, this, on the Monday. And I swear to God, this guy he absolutely lost his mind, <laughs> uh, and you could like well, obviously when we've gone back in the dressing room, we've all just started pissing ourselves. Uh, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Because it's done, it's done, you know. But he, I loved Harry Redknapp. He was a good guy. It, I mean, he was one of them. He was old school, old school manager. I mean, I'm dragging it on a bit, but I have a funny story about him. We went to Cheltenham on the Wednesday. We all flew there. Good day out with the boys and all that. We've come into train. We'd actually organised to go again on the Thursday, like ladies' day, right? Go there. It's a good day, and it? Gold Cup. So we go there on the Thursday. We put on two the helicopters for the boys and all that. Jonathan Woodgate loves his betting. He's brought us in Thursday morning. We're training. playing Man United on the Saturday. And he's brought us in, and he's gone, no one is going Cheltenham. I've heard that you're going. No one's to be at Cheltenham on, on, on today. You're not going. Finished. We've trained. We've gone in. We're walking in as you do, the lads. What are we going to do? Kino, Woody. What, we've got the helicopters on. We've got it all sorted. We've got it planned. Woody's gone, listen, let, let me go and have a chat. So he's gone into, he's knocked on the door. He's walked into Harry and he's like, he's, Woody, you, we're not going. It ain't happening. He said, look, Harry, he said, uh, what about I put a chopper on for you and your family? And, and and you come, you can be in the box with us. He's... Yeah, I'll have a bit of that. <laughs> <laughs> Firstly, Cheltenham, we're there with Harry we Redknapp. That's brilliant. We're playing Man United on the horse, Saturday. Though, he? he was racing post every every morning. Oh, he loved it. He say he loves it. Loved it. But yeah, he's a top guy. Top guy. Up. Amazing. And then Bill Ricky Town. What was it, uh, world's greatest? Have you seen that? The video? Yeah, so I, I went there. Like, I, I, come, I come out of Big Brother, right? I come out of Big Brother. Talk us about Big Brother first. What was that like? Well, it was different. I'd gone through a bit of a. I'd gone through, like, we've, you know, we're all probably ex footballers now, right? So we, you go through that period of shit. What am I doing? Right. You know, yeah. like, no one's calling me. I'm, the phone's not picking up. I'm running out of dough. I've got to do something. They phoned me. They offered me a big fee. They said, you know, would you do it? And I said, you know what? People think I'm a bit of a twat anyway. Aye. So I wanted to go on there. What do you mean, I? <laughs> <laughs> I've, always only, I've always only spoken to you for an hour and a half a day, and that's just what I came to conclusion I can't do. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, but that's genuinely like people thought I was a bit of a bell end, right? So I thought I, I've got to go on there and really, because I, I don't feel like I am, mm -hmm. and I felt like I'd go on there and just kind of be myself and have a laugh and just see. And I needed the money, and you know, it was a different experience, but it was kind of all, almost. It was similar to football, but different characters. You know, like when you go into a new dressing room, you got f it's all new characters, it's all new people, and you're just tossed in there, isn't there? Yep. And you've got to deal with it, right? Yeah. It was a bit like that on Big Brother. It's all new people just coming together in a room, and you've got to deal with them people for as long as possible. So I was comfortable in that situation because I've been in dressing rooms and I've been around different characters. So it kind of went well for me. It was hard. Because I was bored out of my face. Do you know what I mean? Like it was boring. Is it boring, eh? So boring. You're just sitting around. You're not really doing a thing. The only thing you can really do is crack on with birds. Uh -huh. You know, like... Was the birds, 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 birds good then? Well, yeah, there was a couple of nice sorts in there. Obviously, oh, you were in the hot tub, weren't you? 
Yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think Bianca that. Gascoigne was in there, who was a lovely girl. Ended up, you know, sort of kissing her and that a couple of times. And there was another girl, Jasmine Waller. She was she was obviously really a pretty girl. So I just wanted to have a laugh and enjoyed it. Ended up, you know, having a laugh with Bianca and that. And she found out she had a fella, do you know what I mean? So obviously when I come out, I've been that off. And, um, but I enjoyed it. It was great. But it opened up different doors, media and stuff. But I wanted to get back into football. So when I come out, Glenn Tamplin, who was obviously taking over Bill Ricky, I didn't have it, never heard of Bill Ricky, do you know what I mean? Like, but I was, he was obviously pumping loads of money into it and non-league sort of thing and want, want you to be part of it. And, it, it. and I said, yeah, you know, he offered me, you know, offered me some good money yeah. and to go and play. And it was, a, it was a good experience. We won a treble. You know, we had Jermaine Pennant playing. I mean, you can imagine, like, non-league. Is Pennant funny? Yeah, Pennant's a great oh. lad, like a character. You know, Kev Foley. You know, Foss, Wolves, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. So, like, He's good. at Wolves. It was at He's Wolves. At Wolves like, like, that was just our team was Paul Konchesky, me, Kevin Foley, Jermaine Pennant. You know, like, Foley was and like, then it know. was filled with like League One players. So we had like we had a great side, pumped loads of money into it. And he built something, Glenn, and He's off his rocker, right? Completely off. What him. were you thinking the first time? Obviously, played in the Premier League, and he says we're going to start singing this song. Do you no. think, fuck yes. I just said, close your eyes and think of the money. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? All right. Yeah, and you know, and it was funny because obviously it was the big one which went viral, and everyone was looking at it. Was me? I've got the captain's armband on, and I'm obviously like that. We're in a huddle, and I'm closing my eyes, thinking of the money, singing the world's greatest. But he thought it was. Oh, look how passionate he is. He's singing the song, he means it. Look, that's, and I was like, yeah, really, I was just like, I couldn't look at anyone in the face, really. Um, but he built something there and he created a story, do you know what I mean? Which was great. And I ended up becoming, becoming the manager. I was the assistant manager, which I really enjoyed. And then he phoned me and said, I'm getting rid of the manager. He's not good enough. I want you to be the manager. You know, I, 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 basically he wanted, he wanted to run the team and I, I know I coached the team. So I was like, yeah, like, you know, I'll do whatever you want to do. He's like, if you don't take it, I'll, I'll, I'll sack you. So I was like, oh, well, I'm obviously going to take it. So the next day, there was a big uproar about him getting rid of the manager and his son was, was part of the team and he wasn't ready to play. He wasn't quite, he was a good player and he was like, he got a bit of sticks and he left. And he was like, and I, I had a 15... Took all the money? Yeah, it took all, every penny. He was like, that's it, done. No money. We had a 15 grand a week wage bill and no one was going to get paid. So I've sat there, I've just took over. I'm all over talk sports saying, yeah, you know, we're going to try and get the club into League Two. And, you know, it's the first job for me. I want to play nice football. And the players ain't coming if we ain't getting paid. So it was, I was just literally just putting out fires. Ended up, I mean, we got to the cup final and we, we, we finished the season, but all the best players left. And it was like, it was going, it was like basically like going from Man United to, you know, Celtic, I know, Celtic, Celtic. Celtic. <laughs> you know what I mean, like Rangers, you know, <laughs> it, was, it was, and it was hard because everyone was looking in from the outside saying, what's Jamie doing? Because I, I take my, my coaching serious, I, I love my coaching, love being out on the field, but if you ain't got the players and you ain't got no. the money, you got no chance. See, when that made you there, see when you've done, uh, you, you done Big Brother, see now, do you feel maybe people won't? appoint you as a coach because you've done stuff like that? Does that ever play in your mind, that kind of stuff? Yeah, of course. But at that, yeah, 100%. You know, I, I looked at it and thought, I'm never going to go back to playing professional football because who's going to respect someone who's gone on Big Brother? But I thought to myself, what I, I want, I'd gone down a different path. I was mentally, I wasn't, mentally, when I went on Big Brother, I didn't want to be part of football anymore. Yeah, I, I would, I'd had enough of it. Yep. Like, I'm one of these people that if someone said to me, you've got to go and work in, uh, in the city and, you know, be a broker or go and do recruitment. I'd, I'd, if I needed to do it, I'd do it. Yeah, yeah. You know, like I'm, I'm not asked. Like, football's been my life, but if I had to do something else to provide for my family, I'd go and do it. And at that point, I was done with football and I wanted to do something else. It's only when I went in there and I come out, I, I realised how much I loved football still and I wanted yeah. to get back into mm -hmm. it. I knew I'd never get back playing professional, probably. I'd be very lucky. But I felt like if I'd not... To, I was getting asked to do, you know... What's it? Celebs go dating and mm -hmm. and things like that. And I thought, if I want to be kind of respected again, it's going to take yep. a long time. It's gonna, it might never get it back. But you, if you if you really concentrate on just being football based, I think you can get it back because you've played in the Premier League, right? So and if people can potentially take you seriously yeah, yeah. again in the future, and I think now eventually it's turned. You know, because I've just I've turned down all the silly business stuff, which is quick money. Yeah, but. Uh, 
it's, there's no longevity yeah, in it. Yeah. How know? did the talk sport then come about then? Just literally on the phone, like Jim White phoned me up talking about Spurs and and then they just like, I was just on the phone giving an opinion and then it kind of just went from there, you know, and just done more and more Then I'd come into the studio and, you know, I'd just have an opinion and people were obviously controversial, some of my opinions and that. I was just kind of saying it how it is, you know. Well, that's the best way. It's better yeah. to be honest and be some don't, don't be false. Well, I thought, I'm not going to be like Ali McCoist, you know. Sit on the fence. Just sit on the fence. Like, <laughs> Ali McCoist <laughs> can sit on the fence because he's a legend. Yeah, I yeah. don't. I'm. Not, I can't do that. Mm -hmm. I have to say it. I'm not Roy Keane. I'm not Ali McCoist. Do you yeah. know what I mean? I, I. I have to say what I think, and I think people respect that. You know. Who thinks the best pundit? The best pundit. Jordan is very good, isn't he? Simon, Simon Jordan's in a league. Have of you got his number? No. Have you not? Nah. I was going to ask him to mess you. I would want a 1v1 with him. What, one-on-one? -on -one? Well, he ask. would bury you. No, I'm telling you, I will take him. <laughs> he wouldn't even... Because I mean, I'm a different animal because so I can just sort of fit into whatever I'm up. See, when I go, go to him, I'll wipe the flare with him. I've never done Simon Thanks Jordan would eat you alive, mate. Not even I promise you that, mate. Would Trust you do that me. live on air? Or live on air, I'll get him. And listen, in my own way, I'll he, pay him. Listen, he wouldn't, <laughs> even, take my big he wouldn't even sit in a room with you looking like that. I'll get a shooting and booted You're going to get shooting and booted? For him. See, 100%. just on that one, because I, I think he's funny. That one obviously went viral, but was there other team talks and things that you would do? Think, oh, what, mate, uh, every week. Well, he'd come in like lions and tigers and, you know, he'd always be about... I mean, did you see that the, the stadium? He, he spent 150 grand on painting the, the walls in, in the changing room, in the dressing room, like with lions and bird, and chicken. Yeah, the, there was a big chicken on it and said, do not enter if you're a chicken. And there's a hung chicken on the door. <laughs> Like that was what it was, <laughs> you know, like chickens and you know, like and lions and all that, birds and eagle. He was like, you have to be, we had a big eagle in there, and you was only allowed in there if you was an eagle. If you were a chicken, you weren't allowed in the dressing room. So it, that was like that was what I was dealing with. But it was it was a story, right? And he, it was it was hard. I, I used to sit there with Jermaine and Conch and be like, what are we doing? Yeah, yeah, what are we doing? Would you think guys like use it after games and that? No, no mate, he used to put me on a bench. I would sit on the Judy like, and it was, uh, I was sat there all the time. And I was like, I'm sitting on the bench for Bill and Ricky. Where has it all gone wrong? Like, what is going on? But he wasn't like, he wasn't afraid. Like, he wanted to be successful, yeah. but he obviously had, you know, mental problems and it wasn't right for him to own a football club. Oh, yeah. He was too emotional. You can't oh. be emotional when you're, when you're like that. You were a bit vocal in Pep, weren't you? After the Champions League final? Well, he had an He killed the team, didn't he? I mean, he absolutely buried Man City. I mean, that was there for them for the take. I know Chelsea are a good side and that, but they were there for the taking. Like, it was man the stars were aligned for Man City to win their first Why Champions League. Why do you think League. he's done it? Do you think Chelsea it just, beat them? It, twice? What was that team like? He melted, think he over, didn't he? I think he overthinks Aye. team selections. Well, like, it, when it comes, like when you the when team you're... picks itself. I know. Yeah, they're not playing Fernandinho. You can't. Like, how can you not? I mean, fifty-nine out of sixty games he played that season. I know. He played either Fernandinho or Rodri. Rodri. And then in the Champions League final, we don't play him. It's, it was just. It was just. Have you ever had a manager call you up for something you've said or a player? What do you mean? Never like phone the radio after something you've said on Talksport. Um. You've had a few slaves, haven't you? With a few people. Have messages, you, yeah. Sometimes when you're on, you don't you don't go and think I'm going to slaughter them. Sometimes no. it just comes out so naturally. Yeah. yeah, you get carried away and like you obviously just want to be honest. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You, you have to you have to obviously be careful. I, I've had a few people. Yeah, like I think Grealish told Gabby to tell me to pipe down and. Did he? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> <laughs> and <brilliant>. I, <laughs> you know, but look, I don't. I mean, the only the, 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 I was obviously when he's drinking and stuff and getting caught. You know and. I've been through that, do you know what I mean? So I'm just giving you my, right. you know, don't make the same mistakes that I made, you know? Like you've got it all at your feet. And if, I think if they don't like that, then obviously you've got to expect people to say something because we've experienced it. We've been there, I've yeah. done it. I've fallen out of nightclubs, do you know what I mean? I've come out with lipstick on my face looking like a dick. You know, like you, yeah. you don't want, you don't want to see other people make their mistakes. Yeah. So, That's it. Is that it? Up. We'll clap on it. That no. was easy. Enjoy it. Yes, yeah. sir. I can boogie if I need a certain song. I can boogie, boogie, boogie all night long. Don't give me all the <laughs>